Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video, we have another major hurricane in the Atlantic Basin bearing down on the western end of Cuba named Rafael with another disturbance trying to form behind it and anything in the coming week. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to your tropicaltibbets.com for Wednesday, November 6, 2024. The black arrow is pointing towards major hurricane Raphael, a category three with 115 mile per hour winds bearing down on the western end of Cuba. Purple is disturbance one and pink is a tropical wave in the main development region. Here's our vorticity, the spin and energy in the atmosphere associated with Raphael, disturbance one and our tropical wave. And you can see where we're going to be heading with this. So here's Disturbance One's close-up view. High amount of wind shear is keeping this one develop from developing at the moment, but it has increased uh, up to 20% over the next two days and 30% over the next seven days, according to the National Hurricane Center. So here is a uh, hur major hurricane Raphael. Uh, I was able to rapidly intensify yet from yesterday when I made a video. It had 70 mile per hour winds up to 115 mile per hour winds now over northwest at 13 miles an hour. And as you can see, the cone of uncertainty has changed once more. The storm continues to evolve and the track it's going to take. And now it's going to take more of that European track that it was good that it was showing a couple of days ago where it's going to go more west instead of north and then potentially stall out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and just die. Here's the spaghetti track guidance model still showing a split. Some models say it could uh, go north. A couple of them are now saying it could go even southeast or I mean southwest into Mexico. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for you guys. In terms of intensity, we're pretty much at the peak now. Um, and then it can, it's only going to be decreasing from here on out as it starts to encounter cooler waters and higher wind shear. And it's still dropping a ton of rain across Cuba and the Caribbean islands. So here's the key messages about Rafael. On the left is in English, on the right is in Spanish. You could pause to take a chance to read it. So let's see where Rafael is going to go and if any of our other disturbances try to form. So black is Rafael. Purple disturbance one, pink is our tropical wave. Here's the upper level ridge that allowed the rapid intensification of Raphael last night uh, between Jamaica going through the Cayman Islands to, on its way towards Cuba where it's made landfall today. Low wind shear environment, but you can see the large amount of wind shear that's going to be increasing into as it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, along with a lot of dry air to infiltrate that storm. So here we're going to be two days from now on Friday, November 8th, and you can see it's making that westward draw, uh, jog now instead of going to the north towards the central Gulf Coast. We see the best chance for Disturbance 1 trying to get some vorticity together in and around uh, the Dominican Republic, and we have our slow-moving pink tropical wave moving through Trinidad and Tobago. Low wind shear environment still with that upper level ridge uh, over uh, Raphael. Large amount of wind shear in the vicinity of Disturbance 1, so that's probably going to keep that from developing. And we see the, the dry air starting to wrap around into Raphael, so that's going to slowly weaken this storm. So by the time we get to Sunday on November 10th, four days from now, we're going to see the erosion of that upper level ridge and that's going to create more wind shear as you can see here and that's going to completely erode away at the storm no more thunderstorms a lot of dry air and you're just going to have a low level circulation with no thunderstorms slowly evaporate in the gulf of mexico which you can see here by the time we get to next wednesday a week from now on november 13th and then a week from now, also, we're going to be tracking our slow-moving pink tropical wave if it's going to develop in the same region as Raphael did. As you can see here on the GFS model, we'll have an up-level ridge in the region. If this holds true, that will decrease the wind shear in this environment 
and along with the Central American moisture, potentially spin up another storm, which you can see uh, on the ensemble models in just a second, because we're going to look at the European model where it's one of those models that says uh, Raphael could go into Mexico, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. So here is the ensemble models showing where all of our storms are going to go and how strong they can get over the next seven days. So Raphael potentially will slow down once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico and get eroded away by the high wind shear. But if it stays on that more southern track, like the European model suggesting, potentially a threat to the Gulf Coast uh, for Mexico. Disturbance 1 could be moving through the Greater Antilles. If it doesn't develop, it's still going to bring a large amount of uh, rainfall to the region, so still got to watch out for those impacts. And then we'll keep an eye on this tropical wave to see if it tries to develop next week once it gets into the southern and western portions of the Caribbean. Next name on the list for development would be Sarah. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather. So if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed with the breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.